It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 25th of March. I'm James Spann. Got a cold front on the way that will bring some rain late tomorrow and tomorrow night. Much colder air by Friday. Potential for a late season freeze by Saturday morning. Let's check things out. Water vapor satellite view on this late March day. Got a trough in the southwest United States lifting out. That will set the stage for active weather across the southern plains tonight where some severe storms are possible but around here we're in pretty good shape today temperatures are mostly in the 70s Birmingham at 76 we stay in the 70s tomorrow but on Friday highs will drop into the 50s with a chilly north wind you see the cold air north of the states a very tight gradient uh, just north of that cold front that stretches from near Amarillo Texas to Louisville Kentucky up on the uh, watch warning map we got some flash flood watches for parts of Missouri and southern Illinois Wind advisories for parts of Oklahoma and this severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, and some of the adjacent states until 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, that was the radar at 246. I would imagine it's going to look a lot different by the time you watch this video as those storms will likely explode pretty rapidly. Uh, there's a moderate risk of severe weather in that zone. The primary threat is from large hail, although an isolated tornado not out of the question. And uh, again, we'll keep an eye on things, but uh, the storms tomorrow evening as they pass through here should be well below severe limits. In fact, maybe not even much thunder at all, just mainly a band of showers. There is a marginal risk uh, tomorrow along the middle Atlantic coast, but again, no risk defined here. Uh, rain with a front should be well under one half inch. This is the rain through Monday morning of next week. All right, model fans, quite a few issues to talk about. Let's go. This is the 12Z GFS valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time, 1 o'clock p.m. local time. And you can see that a uh, uh, nice trough is digging down through the Mississippi Valley and down below that at midday. A cold front is still a little north and west of the state. In advance of that, we should push well up into the 70s, maybe upper 70s. And there could be a shower maybe by early afternoon. The better chance will come, I'd say, after 3 p.m., about 3 p.m. tomorrow until 3 a.m. Friday with a front. Here's a look at the instability values, and you can see that in advance of the front, the surface-based capes are generally under uh, 300 joules per kilogram. That's not very impressive, and that's one reason we don't expect any severe weather. But, man, what a thermal contrast. Come on now. This is the uh, NAM, 7 o'clock uh, tomorrow evening. You can pick out that front very easily, just uh, below Interstate 59. Ahead of the front, you've got 70s. North of the front, you've got 40s. And uh, once the front passes, north winds will pick up, and it's going to turn sharply colder. And then Friday, just kind of a windy and cold day. Uh, the high, I would say, in the uh, mid-50s. The wind will make it feel colder. The wind averaging 12 to 22. Uh, the day will be dry. The sky will be partly sunny, a blustery and chilly day. This is Saturday, Saturday morning. We should be down in the 30 to 35 degree range. Of course, it all depends on your elevation, where the wind is still blowing. Uh, but we'll be very close to a freeze in most spots Saturday morning. And uh, the day Saturday looks sunny uh, and very dry. And we start the day around freezing. The high in the low, maybe mid-50s, somewhere between 50 and 55. Uh, this is Sunday. Sunday morning will be cold. Again, low to mid-30s. Uh, the high Sunday in the middle 60s, we start to warm up, and the sky should be sunny. So no precipitation over the weekend. Uh, the highlight, the chance for a late-season freeze both Saturday and Sunday morning. Uh, look at the numbers coming off the ensembles. You can see they're between 30 and 35. This is for Birmingham, and again, your number will vary. But cold snaps don't last too long this time of the year, and you can see we go back in the 70s next week. Here's Monday. Moisture tries to come back. We might mention a small chance of a shower with a northward moving warm front, but I don't think it rains much, if any, at all. Uh, we'll be close to 70, and this is Tuesday. That looks dry. A new storm system off to the west. Wednesday, week from today, April 1st, got a surface low over eastern Oklahoma. Showers and storms break out to the west. This is late Wednesday night, midnight Wednesday night of next week, 12 a.m. April 2nd. Uh, there's been some good consistency off the GFS in this idea. Surface low is north of Memphis, about 1,000 millibars, and that could certainly set the stage for strong to severe storms. We all know there's no way you can resolve details a week in advance for something like this, but it's certainly something to watch. 
Uh, this is a look at the projected instability at midnight Wednesday night of next week, and you can see that tongue of instability coming up from the south. The numbers are not overwhelming. That might be a limiting factor, but I guarantee you this will change in coming days. Just something to watch, potential for uh, strong, maybe severe storms around the middle part of next week. And this is uh, the following day, Thursday, April 2nd. The surface low is near Cincinnati with the showers and storms winding down. Here's the end of the forecast, April 4th. This is the beginning of the following weekend. That's still a pretty cold-looking trough over the eastern U.S., and by golly, another cold snap is likely. If this is right, look up there in the northeast, another whopper of a snowstorm in April. It's the winter that never ends, and this might not happen. Of course, it's voodoo, but again, the idea of a cold snap in April, it it happens every year. It's almost a uh, given. That's it for the weather extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.